Sabi your hips. Oh, ye get can I hear you say? Ye ancient no sweet. Say them Sabi your
Hallelujah. Please praise the Lord.
God knows we don't talk about our problems. We praise the most high. I will declare.
sing, there is none, there is none, only us alone. I hear thunderings and roarings, there is none, besides Jesus. Neither is there any wrong, neither is there any wrong, neither is there any wrong, neither is there any wrong. Oh, we are ready. Oh, we are ready. 
Bobby, watch out on Kong 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 I say there is no other God from east to west. From east to west, I say there is no other God from north to south. From north to south, I say there is no other God from east to west. From east to west, I say. God, there is no other God. 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 Angels are singing.
ask us, why are we doing what we are doing? The Bible says in Acts chapter 15, that God is about to restore again the tabernacle of David. 24-7 priestly praise. It's about to hit the earth again. God's new technology is praise. People have asked you many times, have you prayed about it? But very soon we'll be asking you, have you praised about it? Have you said thank you Jesus about it? Giving thanks for all things. We have given thanks in it. But it is in these sessions we give thanks for it. You give thanks for the job you lost. You give thanks for the difficult marriage. You give thanks for that relationship that is not going nowhere. You give thanks for it. You give thanks. We give thanks. We give thanks. Because everything we are doing is talking about him. We stop talking about our problems. We are not talking about him. That's why all our songs in Shigono is about Jesus. His name is wonderful. His name is mighty. When they got to Jericho, all they were hearing is the ram's horn. For seven days, the ram's horn was blowing. And they went round about the wall of Jericho. That wall was formidable. Nobody has broken it down before. But there was something about to come. There was a technology beyond chariots. There was a weapon beyond spear. It was the voice of men who were praising their most high. And I came to tell somebody, some walls are falling down tonight. Some walls are falling down tonight. Some walls are falling down. Some walls are falling down. Some walls are falling down. Praise is the power of, of, of rest. When you enter rest, the power of rest is praise. As long as you can praise, rest will be inevitable. So anytime your praise is low, you should know your power is low. In rest is not prayer. In rest is his praise. <laughs> because it is in rest you tell God, I'm going to sing about you. Begin to work. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. He said, with your eyes, you will see the reward of the wicked. So it is in praise. It is in praise. You give him praise. And say to the Lord, you are good. And your mercy endures forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happens. So you are good. And your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Is somebody believing for a miracle? Good, then talk to him. You, you are good, and, and your, your mercy is forever. forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are good. You are good, and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Somebody singing of the goodness of God. God has been good. You didn't pray for that breakthrough. When we were fasting, you were eating. Yet God still gave you the scholarship. You were worried, and God has still done it for you.
something more than something more than gold. I got something something more than gold. Something more than something more than silver. I got something more than gold. If all I have all I have is Jesus, I've got something. We are not singing to you. We are singing together. This is Shigono. Joint worship to the Lord. You are all the madness. You are all the
Kadosh means that God is not going to do this thing by common means. Kadosh means uncommon. Kadosh means holy. It is in a realm that has not yet been discovered. So the way you marry is Kadosh. The way you get your breakthrough contract is Kadosh. That's why God, everybody God chooses, He uses them to start a new way. He chooses Abraham and says, Wait till you are 100. It's Kadosh. Kadosh, 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 Kadosh. Your friends are Kadosh. doing dubious means to go to US. Kadosh, Kadosh. The first time you get a visa will be a diplomatic visa. Kadosh, Kadosh. People have given birth before you. God is giving you triplets. Kadosh, Kadosh. Your friends are marrying before you. They will pray for your wedding. Kadosh, Kadosh. Anytime you hear Kadosh, it means God is about to do something uncommon. Kadosh, Kadosh. So are you struggling? Is your story looking like it is delayed? You are a testimony. You are a candidate for Kadosh. Kadosh, Kadosh. Uncommon God. Doing uncommon things with uncommon people. Kadosh, Kadosh. When he says holy brethren, it's uncommon brethren. Kadosh, Kadosh. Kadosh, Kadosh. Whatever you are going through, I want you to shout Kadosh. Kadosh, Kadosh. Hey. Kadosh, 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 Kadosh. You are not failing, it's an uncommon testimony. Kadosh, 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 Kadosh. Your ministry is an uncommon ministry, that is why it is taking its time. Kadosh, 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 Kadosh. The husband God is about to give you an uncommon husband. Kadosh, Kadosh. Outside Ghana. Everybody is getting hundred dollars. God is about to give you hundred thousand. Kadosh. You too, you will be a landlord. And God will give you nations and houses in America. Kadosh. You will sit in first class. Kadosh, 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 Kadosh. Kabali kete keme lo belea. Kadosh, 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 Kadosh. It's the Lamb of God. It's the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. He alone, He alone is worthy. There is a show about to happen. There is a show about to happen in your family. There is a show about to happen in your business. There is a show about to happen in your marriage. There is a show. There is a show. There is a show. There is a show. Sit in the heavens with God. Heavenly places is your location. And begin to laugh. 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 I love hallelujah. Love hallelujah. Love see hallelujah. The Lord. See the Lord. See the Lord. See the Lord. Laughing hallelujah. See the Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spirit. Say, <laughs> see the Lord. 
traffic light from the traffic light to the entrance of the hotel before he climbs the stairs because of your perspective in height you can see him truly at the traffic light so when a person tells you I'm coming you don't doubt it because you can see when and where they are for which reason you know they are journeying towards you but if you are at the ground floor and all you see is the gate and the person is nowhere in view you call him again are you really sure you are coming because you can't see that they are on their way so because of where God sits, now this is even the height of a hotel. Imagine you are outside the earth and you saw the day the earth was created. So you saw the day the earth was formed to the day the earth will end. And the person says, I'm declaring the end from the beginning. And I'm telling you that you will marry, you will have children, you will have that ministry, you will be healed from that disease and you are doubting me. You don't understand his perspective. Where he sits, he sees the ball. From the day the earth came into being, he was there. So when he told you that you will be born, in 1800, he had written about you. And when you were born, he knew that what he had planned, if 1800, all the abortions and the laws and all the decadence of society could not prevent you from showing up, tell me what miracle you are looking for that the devil can stop. He is too sure. That is why he tells you it is done. I'm not telling you I'll do it. It is already done. If you manage to show up in this life, and everything I've written will come to pass. You must see. You must see. And stop doubting God. Sometimes doubt is a result of perspective. You are seeing the wrong thing. That's why you are confused. Sit where he sits. Then when you see the person at Kaneshi, and because of the height you are on, you can see from Kaneshi to Malam. Indeed, the person is in traffic. Indeed, the person is coming towards you. So you do not doubt that that journey will be complete. Can I even shock you today? When you take Uber up and you do Uber food and you order and your person receiving say, I've not received it. What do you tell him? It's on the way coming. Because you can see the person where he is. That he's not turned his back. He is on route to who? To bring you your reward. I tell you somebody today. The Lord is en route bringing you that miracle. He has not been deterred. Your testimony is on the way. Look at the application of God. It is coming. It is journeying. It is heading towards you. It's not a man to lie. God gets nothing from deceiving you. There's no reward in God deceiving you. Neither is he afraid of you for him to tell you the truth that it won't work. So what does he get? If he tells you it is working and you think God is trying to be political, you don't know him. See him. That's why he woke up in the boat and said, faithless generation. 
if I tell you we go to the other side, no water can stop us. Then that day, this boat will become the first submarine in creation. We will make it a submarine. We will go underwater. But by all means, we are getting to shore. By all means, we are getting to shore. Forget how many babies you have lost. Forget how many miscarriages you have lost. Forget how many relationships have failed. By all means, his word concerning your life. See him. Sit in perspective. When you see some of us and we are relaxed, it's not because we don't have needs. We are seeing what God is seeing. We have seen that the Uber is on the way. That the car is bringing the testimony. It's bringing the miracle. So we are in a relaxed, comfortable lead. That is original, comfortable lead. You can see it. When a politician tells you that I'm in a comfortable lead, it means he has information. How much more they all know you? <laughs> Listen, if they only told you how you were born, you will understand why God is too sure you prosper. Because some people plan not to marry. Some people plan that you, you, we will never come together. Some people even didn't want to marry. They did, they were not friends. But some way, somehow, God made a way for your mother to meet your mother, your father. And when your father met your mother, they don't even know what happened. They didn't like themselves, but they married. So God is in heaven watching. He said, these people don't want this boy to come. But I know what I'll do. Some way, somehow, they like themselves. And some way, somehow, they didn't plan it, but you appeared. Is it a wonder he has planned that will not appear? Come on. They aborted the archbishop. He said it in his own story. But he still came up because he was apparently he was a twin. So there's nothing God has said he will bring to pass that Satan has the power to stop. He can't stop. Stop stress, stop collaborating with Satan with your worry and fears. And stop collaborating with God with your faith and your glory and your praise. Start collaborating with God and say, God, now I agree. Whatever I do, I'll prosper. No matter what happens, I'll marry. I'll by all means have my children. So I'm going to stop wasting my time. By all means, I'm healed. Glory to Jesus. I enter my rest. That's all. Collaborate by faith and pray. The devil can't stop it. He's so afraid he's giving you wrong information. He's making people act a certain way to make it feel like you are not qualified. But you are too qualified. Because he saw you the day you were born. Do you know how I know this? There was a man called Saul. He took a letter killing Christians. He said, concerning zeal, I persecuted the church. Then he started killing Christians with letter. Do you know the shocking thing? When he was finally born again, he told the people of Galatia. In Galatians chapter 1, verse 5. Now do you know something? Apparently, I've been killing you people. From 15. Look what he said. This is Paul. He said, when he pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb to manifest the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, you please God who separated me from my mother's womb to manifest the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. To, to manifest the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, he pleased God. So apparently the man who was separated from God's womb, Satan had devised a strategy to fight the very thing he was supposed to preach about. So Satan can try his best. But by all means, light will meet you. You will fall from the horse. And he will shout, Lord, Lord, who art thou that I persecute? So can I tell you today, start collaborating with God and sit where he sits and see by perspective. I just showed you a secret. When you take Uber food, the person you have told to bring the food is telling you that, Charlie, is the food coming? It's all size on the way. He said, are you sure? He said, yes. Why? According to your application, the driver is en route. Then you call the driver, why are you, sir? I can see you are going towards the house I sent you to. He said, yes, I'm on my way. But there is a flat. There is a, a thunderstorm. That's why it seems I've delayed. Can I tell you something? Sometimes the miracle is coming in perfect condition. So before it gets to you, he will wait for the thunderstorm to subside. He will wait for the clouds to go away. But he is still on the way. He is still bringing the testimony. See where God sits. Sit where God sits. And begin to see the journey. So sometimes when you are doubting God, it's because of perspective. You are not sitting where he sits.
if you sit where he sits, when they tell you, I'm at the traffic light, you can see him. No wonder Jesus, by perspective, said in John chapter 1, from the 40th verse downwards, a boy came to him called Nathaniel. He said, oh, Nathaniel, I saw you under the tree. Before you were convinced by Peter and Andrew to come and see me, I already saw your heart changing to come to me. In fact, Jesus was trying to tell my head, you say, is there any good thing that comes from Nazareth? But Jesus wanted to tell him that you made that statement, but in your heart there is no guile. It means you made a statement with a clean heart. Does anything good come from Nazareth? I saw you under the tree. I saw you. So before Nathaniel agreed to join Jesus, Jesus saw his journey to him. Can we see like Jesus is? That's your wife, that's your child. They are not stubborn. You just don't see that they are on a journey to change. So you are complaining. My child is not changing. If you sit like Jesus, you will see that boy under a tree, considering his ways, that I want to change my ways and pray better. Can you sit where Jesus sits and start seeing your husband, that he's beginning to come to himself? Because it is you who said you want a spiritual Chris Brown. So now Chris Brown is being born again, so he can come to you. It is you who ordered it. And that type of order, it takes time. So he's changing. But I want to tell you something. Your husband is already on the way. And can I ask you a question? How can God give you husband and wife? And now you are saying, where are the children? Is that how God plays his games? You have to start seeing God well. Perspective is on the way. He didn't call you to ministry to disgrace. He said he has called us to glory and virtue. Not to disgrace and misfortune. Glory and virtue. So this call is for glory. It's not for shame. Perspective. That's why when you see us praising God, Paul said in Colossians 4 verse 2, continuing therein with what? Prayer and watching in the same with thanksgiving. So when Jesus said, watch and pray that you fall not into temptation, he had not yet died. But when he died, your watching is not for it to come to pass. It is for you to thank God that I can see you've already done it. So anytime you pray, how do you watch? Thank God. You watch over your prayer by thanksgiving. And that is where you get the word Judah. Judah is from two words. Jehovah Yada, Yehuda. And Yehuda is a rendition of Yehovah. The difference is the vowels, the V and the D. D is actually Dalet, which means door. So anytime Judah, praise is activated, Jehovah comes through the door. So praise is the door for Judah or Je for Jehovah, for Yahweh to enter our situation. Praise is the door. Praise. The room is sealed. But as soon as you say, Paul and Silas, they, they pray this time, and the holy fire came down. Paul and Silas, they pray, hallelujah, they die. and the holy fire came down. Paul and Silas, they pray, they die.
prayer of Habakkuk upon Shigonoff. Shigonoff is fast-paced anthology of poems that are sung as songs. This is... It means what we are doing is a prayer. That is why this is not, we are not ministering to you. If I'm me, I preach, these are the singers. So it's warfare. So what we are doing, we are, we are, we are pronouncing the greatness of God. This is how we fight our battle. This is how we win. 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 This is how we win our battles. Get the power. Get the power.
you lost something but you didn't lose everything. I thank you. I may not be where I want to be, but I'm not where I used to be. I thank you. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know you are not dating yet, but you have got a better job. Thank you. Thank you. I know you are not yet married, but you just got a visa. God is not silent. He is doing something. Just thank you. Thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I don't have what I'm looking for yet. But I've still have the same mind. I've not lost my mind. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you.
somebody who is trying to be inquisitive in your life. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see. Oh, God. 
right declare. Father, I declare. Hey. 
What should have killed you? It became a minor bruise. They should have mashed your car, but they just gave it a dent. So why I'm so you well. Who saw me move? 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 Who saw If he does not watch, we watch in vain. If he does not watch, we watch in vain.
request every one of them be answered by your power 
from the least to the greatest testimony. Lord, let your glory cloud wave over it. Let there be a shocker. In this month of July, our hearts are open for manifestations. Divine, pleasant manifestations. Even in the name of the Lord Jesus. Because we have obeyed. We have praised. We know your name is to be exalted. Even now and forever. Thank you. <laughs> sins we committed we cannot no we could not we still cannot tell anybody but only you know only you have forgiven us only you have cleansed us of it when everyone felt we were useless we were liars we were thieves we were whatever the things they said we were only you stood by us only you what kind of person are you Lord, and in that time we were actually angry at you. We decided not to pray because we're giving you attitude for leaving us, yet you were ever with us. In our height of pain, as Isaiah 63, the verse number 9 said, In the affliction, he was afflicted also. You felt our pain more than we could ever feel. And when we blamed you, that why didn't you, why didn't you, why couldn't you? You were grieving as much as we were. Yet you were ever patient with our immaturity to wait. Thank you. Who could have asked for a better friend? Greater love hath no man than a man should lay down his life for a man. My mother couldn't do it. My father cannot do it. My best friend cannot do it. Only you, Jesus, can lay your life down for me. Thank you. Lord, if you see us today, it's not that we don't have issues. We do. That's why we have envelopes in front of you. But we choose to put the envelopes down. 
to tell you that Lord we seal it in an envelope so that whatever is preventing us from worshipping you is locked in this envelope so that from today praise will be on our lips our hearts will be full of gratitude because even if you've not done all we wanted you have done some you have done certain things so we thank you we thank you for progress we thank you for our little steps we thank you for a new day we thank you that Lord before we were broken hearted but today we can smell at sunrise thank you give you glory thank you for being the example in everything thank you our hearts are yours our hearts is your home and no matter what goes on in our lives you are the one that holds my
shaking men will give back to you twice three times a hundredfold even in Jesus name be blessed amen
this way first we declare the blood we declare the way for sanctifying as we take it lord you are a stone of help you are a strength in our time of weakness now we declare that as we take you you fill us with your very life I declare, Lord, today I come against every spirit of religion. I declare today as we take the communion, let the power of God be released. May traditions be dissolved. And may we receive this communion by revelation. Every land issue, every family issue, every medical issue, whatever you are dealing with your children, as you take this communion, may it activate the power of God. Even bringing you testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Whosoever drink shall never ever test again. The fountain of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever shall never ever The fountain of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever
swallow your pride tonight come to the school of the spirit don't you know in this hand is the keys to eternal life a little here a little death until the day will dawn he's up Manifestation might not be that ten thousand dollars, it might come as a hundred dollars, but at least for the past two months, you've started getting a hundred a little here, a little there, until the day will show itself. So, in this month, praise God for every manifestation. Don't use your, 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 your worry to stop your praise, and that praise that has been lost has destroyed your harvest. As you see a little, say, Lord, thank you. I'm believing for 1,000, but 100 came. Thank you. I'm believing for 20,000, but 1,000 came. Thank you. As you begin to thank God for the little here, the little there, it's going to dawn into the mighty manifestation. Thank you, Jesus. And how do you do that? So swallow your pride. It's pride that makes you say, ah, I pray for 20. Why did he give me 200? It's a school. Don't you, Don't you know? In his hands is the keys to eternal Changing everything. 
God willing, on the 1st of July, we have family life for friends. 1st July, can you put the poster up? 1st July, we have family life conference. Now, listen, it's a special program. It's not going to be held here. The hall we have is about 220 or 200 something, and there's an overflow. So please, come early. Because when it's family life, people come with family and churches. <laughs> so if you don't come early, don't come and say, so you want to sit inside, want to hey, hey, come early. First come, first serve. We're starting exactly 10 a.m. So if I was you, 9.30, I'll, I'll come and just get my chair. Don't come and book for your friend. And let us, uh, that's how we'll be fighting with ushers. No. Come early. Come and fill the chair. Tell your friends, let's all come early and come and fill the chair together. Because that's what God wants to do. And that is at 10 a.m. on 1st of July. And that 1st July, um, we are going to have a wonderful time. Many men of God will be coming. It's going to be powerful. So, you know, last year was epic. Some of us, some of us realized that not knowing hell has, we have made... No, no, we were doing guest house for hell. Yeah, so last year we learned a lot. Two years ago we learned very powerful things. So this third edition, I don't want you to miss it for anything. It's going to be a powerful time in the presence of God. Come with your family. Come with your beloved. Come with the one you want to grab or the one who wants to grab you. Just tell me that the way we have been talking, let's go to this thing so that we can have some discussions after. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. And God willing, on the 8th of July, we are having the wedding of our brother Joshua Okai. And then our sister, Dr. Rachel Ofeng. Yes. And the Assemblies of God, put a baby down. Uh, please bless them, pray for them. Release kingdom blessings into their life. Let the hand of God be multiplied in their life. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're a volunteer, when is the holiday? When? Thursday. Thursday is the holiday. Uh, please. Okay, whatever it is, whether Wednesday or Thursday, any of the holidays, I'm meeting my volunteers. But if you are a member, please find somewhere and go and pray. Please, I'm giving a prophetic direction. This holiday, if you are hearing my voice and you are not a volunteer to join us to pray, I'm not saying come and join us to pray. It's that meeting is strictly for volunteers. But if you are not a volunteer, you are a member. Find somewhere and go and pray. The manifestations we want to see, it is backed by power. The problem with this generation is that we've got, when they declare a word, you think it will happen because it has been said. Power must drive it. That's why Jesus himself said, you'll be my witnesses. You'll do these powerful things. But if you don't wait for the spirit, everything I've said will not manifest. You need power for the things God has told you to show up in your life. You need power to drive prophecies to show up. So please, find time. If this month is a month of manifestation, find time. And thank God, I told you, holidays, the original meaning of holidays is holy day. Holy day. It's a holy day. It's not party day. It's not chilling day. It's not beach day. It is holy. Holy day. Do holy things on that day. It's a dial or something. Like that. I'm dialing number. Here. If you like miss the call, if you like say number busy, I've, I've sent the message. It's a holy day. Do holy things on that day. Find a place and go and pray. Botanical gardens is there. Um, a pre where, wherever. Go and pray. Don't go and pray in the sea and say I'm swimming and praying. I don't know what our prayer does in in bikini. Yeah, this is prayer. Azul Bagada. Azul Bagada. In bikini. <laughs> you are in the swimming pool saying, I'm, I'm prophet, I'm praying. This is a holy location. I beg. <laughs> Go and pray. Find somewhere and pray. If you can't find anywhere to be at, at least enter your room. Give yourself. Listen, this, spend at least minimum three hours. Minimum. I know you have not done some before. You three, the way people shouted, hey, I don't. So when I preach on retreat, what were you thinking? Find at least three hours on that day. Phones off. Everything shut down. Just 
prayer hours, you and God, God, speak to me about July. What is it I must do? Which call must I pick? Which call must I make to open the month up? Which day is the open? Please, can I tell you something? In the realm of the spirit, they are doors. So. Yes, sir. They are doors. When we're doing the, this thing, I knew, that's why I like to lead it. I knew that the door will open. And Shagonoth anointing will be released. Otherwise, yes. we'll sing the song, hey, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, and we'll go home. But as we are going, we realize there was a door opened in Shagonoth, and the thing became fluid. That's how it works. When you are entering a city, Accra might not be the, this thing, uh, 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 Osu might not be the door. The door to Accra is the spirit that can tell that you have now entered Accra. So you can be in the city, but I have not yet entered the, the door of the city. It's the same way you can enter the month, month of manifestation. Other people are getting this, but it means there's a door you missed. The time the door was open, you were sleeping. The time God told you that go and pass here, you enter the door. You say, oh, why should I pass? There was a big deal. You, they were, you were missing doors. But you have to be sensitive. Doors are in the spirit. There are doors in the spirit. And that's how when you are praising God, you are sensitive that, no, 2nd July is the door will be open. So by the time, 1st July, anytime you are sensing something is about to happen, it means that you are close to a door. By the moment the day comes and you forget that something that must happen, you've missed the door. That's why you have lost anticipation. Doors are in the spirit. And that's what prophets use. We know doors. When the prophet is about to prophesy, there's one person. The glory of God will rest upon. The moment we pick them, our eyes open. Yeah. If you don't pick that person, you'll be shocked. You will prophesy with dryness. It will not come. There's one person. So one of the prayers prophets prays that, Father, show me the door. Okay. It will just be one case. As soon as you mention, yes, sir, what you are saying is me. What you are saying is true. The moment the person says, amen, your eyes are up. Yeah. That's why sometimes we test waters. One or two people will call, hello, hello, hello. Is it true? It's true. Eh, is it true? Is it true? But the third person, the door has opened. And you say, ah, it's going. Like hot knife in bread. A bit trying to say, shh. So they are doors in the spirit. In the same regard, men are doors. Men are doors. So it's not everybody you talk to anyhow. There are some people you treat them with high level. Because you know this one is a door. Your next level is this, this one. You just have to know how to turn the key. Otherwise, you will be standing in front of your breakthrough for a long time. Because you don't know the doors. So please, I'm speaking to you as a prophet. Let's enter manifestation together. I told you when we started Ephesus, I don't want to be the prophet of God who is in the nations and it's like, oh, our well, that day is international. No, we are all going. Yeah. I said, what? Yeah. I've gone to many churches many times. You realize the pastor is here and the members are here. That's not the way of God. We must all be at this. In fact, can I tell you something? In the spirit, eh? can I show you something? Sure. I've done a lot of studies about many ministries. And God told me, says, the mistake many pastors do is that, with all humility, is that we forget to make the members come to our level. Because if your members don't come to your level, you're not going to your next level. You'll be stuck. Yes, you'll be stuck. Can I show you a secret? Sure. If you are a nursery teacher and your children graduate to class one, you have to learn what to change your learning. When they come to class, you have to change it. That's why usually when you're in primary, your teacher was the same person up to classes. That's the old school system. Your K2 teacher can teach. You say your kindergarten teacher has now come to teach you in class two. By the time you realize you meet in class six. Hey, why? But the moment they get to class six, if they don't translate their knowledge into GSS1, you will either bypass them. And when you bypass them, do you know what happens in the spirit? You might never meet them, especially if you leave the school. Some of you have never met your classes teacher again. That means that there are some people in your life, the reason why they are still there is because of the common knowledge you share. The moment your knowledge changes, you might depart from them forever and they will never find you again. Your knowledge has shifted. They might not be at your reader. It's true. That's why as a couple, you don't study things differently. You must learn together. Because if your wife is learning A, you are learning B, very soon you'll be apart. You must have the same source of feeding. Otherwise, you, you, knowledge makes you grow. It is knowledge that makes you grow. It is not, it's not food. It's knowledge. <laughs> Hallelujah. This and more from a very special program with my brother, Pastor Isaiah. 
will be coming to you live on YouTube very soon. We'll be discussing certain things. We'll open the floor for live questions. And then, uh, I mean, all the other brothers, you know, you see all of them pass through. But I'm just announcing. The moment you see the advert, you should know that this one, very dangerous questions will be answered here. Hallelujah. So please, I'm showing you a key today. Don't joke with this holiday. Pray. You yourself tell the truth. Six months has passed. The way it's going, if you don't take care, you are going to celebrate another Christmas without testimony. So please, let's be wise together. Do you understand? Yeah. And do you know what happens? By February, March, you were tired of fasting. And so the fasting, or you are struggling yourself. By the way, God willing, from Wednesday, you are fasting. I know, after everything I said, I have to ensure that we are all fasting and praying to enter. So we are fasting Thursday, we are fasting Friday, we are fasting Saturday. So we are fasting into family life. Are we together? So family life, when you are coming, don't eat cocoa, don't eat, just eat normal fruits after the service, then you break with your soul. You understand? So man, so we are, we are, we are doing food fast. Are uh, you together? Hey, we are eating fruits. Wednesday, we are eating fruit. Thursday, we are eating fruit. Friday, we are eating fruit. Saturday morning, when you wake up, eat fruit. So that one, it is, you are eating fruit. And I told you, fruit fast doesn't mean you are not drinking water. Drink water in the day. But break with fruits. Amen. Amen. So some of you fast and you can't even swallow saliva. Please drink fruit. <laughs> drink water and break with fruits. Amen. Amen. Oh, why don't you like fasting at all? Like that? You are fasting. Now, the reason for this fast is that this fast is a family and relationship fast. We are going to deal with things that have fought out. No, this is not so time, my friend. <laughs> hey, be, why? The so time was not broken. Or some of you have started a new one. It's like some of you have started a new so time. We have to update. We have to update the fast. <laughs> Anyways, if the Holy Ghost makes us address it, we'll address it. Uh -huh. But please. So tight, it's not a it's not a line since you have to renew every when they expire, don't renew it. Okay, when it's cut, it has cut. So tight, they cut. Don't renew it. So tight, hallelujah. So, what we are doing is that we're going to deal with very difficult things that our families are dealing with. You know, some some things are some things are cycles, some things are if you don't take care of your family, prominent people never survive or they lose their mind or lose their job. We are going to deal with dangerous things. Some of you get instant testimonies where some of your uncles and fathers will get their contracts back, their businesses back. Some of you too are removing the spirit. In other words, that's happening has ceased to happen. Uh -huh. So Wednesday, Thursday, the Lord spoke to me about this fast. So that before Dr. George comes, we have done some spiritual cleansing. Uh -huh. Then we can receive. I told you we can never meet any program without a fast. I've realized one of the things, people, Christians go to many programs, never see testimony because they went with their stomach. Just when he's coming for a program, he's holding a girl by the way. It's like, hey, it's not BET I was. You understand? He came to receive the word of the Lord. I've heard the girl by the way, it's like we are posing. Hey. It's if you are fasting, you don't do that foolish thing. You, you are very hungry. <laughs> you don't have energy to hold waste. But <laughs> BET I was another, but Holy Ghost function. Hallelujah. So we are fasting from Wednesday. Listen to what I'm saying. Wednesday means that Tuesday, 12, Tuesday, 1259, every carbohydrate and solid of anything of that sort is dead. Wednesday, 12 midnight, we are starting to pray. Gala, Gaza, Gaba, 1 a.m., we are done. Anything from that time is water, 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 water. Six o'clock, you eat fruits. Banana, and I told you, when we are eating fruits, nothing made. But wait, 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 wait. This time around, because I want you to have energy for the fast. You can eat foods that are offered to fire. Fruit that has passed through fire. What kinds of fruit is that? Plantain. <laughs> Please. No. <laughs> Jesus. It's coffee, broken man, and fruit. Roasted plantain. Is it fruit? 
please. So the, the fruits that have gone through fire, granola, uh, what again, granite, maize. No, please, no, no maize. Because if you buy corn and you roast it on the fire, it's equal to fermenting it for banku. It's banku, not maize. It's banku, not maize. It's processed maize. So, so you want to eat the steak? <laughs> so people don't like peace. That's why sometimes I say that let's not use fire. Today I'm saying use fire. Look at the things you are bringing. By the time you come for fruit fast, all your cheeks are full of this and carbohydrates. Why? Let your body go on a rest a little bit. Yes, yes. Medically, fasting helps you to regain some cells. Your cells are tired. Let it rest more. And just water fruits. Water fruits. Granite is there. Banana is there. You can do granola. Um, yogurt. Okay, so you can do granola and yogurt. It's permitted. These are, I'm giving the exceptions. Granola, yogurt. I'm not saying it's you are no pokey. I said granola, yogurt. Do you understand? There's a difference. Yeah. Pokey is not granola and yogurt. No need sickly yo me. Jay 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 yogurt. I'm going to buy fine nice, fine nice. Yo yo. Hey, <laughs> I didn't say buy fine yogurt. Fresh yogurt. That's what I'm talking about. Don't go and buy fresh. Because make a yogurt or be say fine. Because Ghanaians call fine nice yogurt. Every ice cream is yogurt. Pokey is also yogurt. Please, so please hear what I'm saying. These are the ground rules. I'm doing it like this so that you have energy to receive Dr. Jojo. Because I noticed when you are too in the spirit, when Prof. Nana came, some of you were feeling dizzy. So he was saying, it's Ephesus here, Ephesus here. Now, fast here. Uh, to me, I'm out for. I'm out for a light. It's well, hallelujah. So this, I want you to have energy because it's family life. We we'll have a lot of interactions, questions. I mean, uh -huh. and like we did, by the grace of God, we have a system now that can ask questions without we knowing who asks it. And the questions that they, if you notice, it's live. So as we are asking, you can send your question and to update, 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 update. Then we'll mention everything up to me. I think it's a powerful system so that yes. online everybody you can send it direct. So we'll ask questions there. Things will be addressed quickly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So remember, tell your neighbor Wednesday we are fasting. Wednesday. In view of that, we are coming your way on Mizla. Glory. We pray. Share the link. We are coming back. Hallelujah. We are praying for our family. So let your mother, fathers, cousins, everybody tune in. <laughs> your nana, if your ancestors are alive, just tell them that they are online. When they, when they call your ancestors at the shrine, tell them tune in too. Uh, whoever is mentioning your name at the shrine, tell them that share the link there. Our ancestors will tune in. Wherever they are in the grave, they must tune in so that we can undo some curses. Hallelujah. Praise God. Are you excited to have praised Jesus Christ? Give him a praise. Hallelujah. Honor the Lamb, honor the Lamb, honor the Lamb, we honor the Lamb, we honor the Lion. And God willing, Baba Delvan will be coming to Ghana very soon. And I know when Chris Delvan, Pastor Chris Delvan enters Ghana, it's going to be a different thing altogether. Dangerous dimension. Get ready for it. It's going to be super, super, super mega. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right, so we are working on our media team. Uh, one of the things we we'll handle our volunteers is that we'll have a media team. So very soon, all those who have celebrated their birthdays, your name will appear like a newscast. Birthday celebration for the month of June. Ping, 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 ping. Then the prayer will be declared by the announcer. We thank God for your life. All the grace and the blessings of God be upon you. Amen. Because yeah. the way it's going, if I don't take it, some people will say that prophet is Iimu. I like some months, I don't like some months. So all those who have celebrated their month, birthdays up to this time, lift your hands to Jesus Christ. Father, we bless them. No, no, I've not prayed for you. What I mean is I've not prayed for your birth month. So I, I think I prayed for March. I didn't pray. And I prayed for April too. So it is May, June. I've not prayed. Have I prayed for May? Yeah. May was part. Yeah. So I pray for May too. So all the June bonds, lift your hands to Jesus Christ. Can you stand to your feet? Can we stretch our hands towards all of them? Father, we pray for the strength of God to be their portion. Those online, online family, diaspora church, we release the hand of God to multiply mightily in this month of June. Receive testimonies. Let this month of rest characterize your new face. We declare in the next 12 months, we oh, pray to the rest of God. Whatever has limited you, may God himself bring you a divine turnaround. Even in Jesus' precious mighty name, we call it done. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah. I'm realizing I don't have anointing for announcements. So one hour one anointing for announcements now. You'll hear them. They are the newscasters. We have two in Ephesus. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you'll hear their voices very soon. You'll very soon you'll see. Some of them will even do adverts. Then you'll see the open hands. Welcome to Ephesus. <laughs> These are the announcements for the man. So you will see all of them very soon on the screen. We we'll all sit down and watch the announcement. Hallelujah. Can you stand to your feet? Hold your neighbor's hand if you can. Hold your neighbor's hand. Worshiping with us is my brother, Pastor Christopher, and his dear wife from Antioch Chapel. Hallelujah. I think during the service, um, Pastor Benji Amwa also came through. He surprised me. He passed through. I was so surprised, I couldn't even stop the singing to say, hey, I think he had to be somewhere, so he left. Let's celebrate Pastor Benjamin Moore in absentia. <laughs> powerful people of God. God is using our generation. It's powerful. Amen. I see my brother all the way from Lagos. How are you, sir? Blessings from Manifest Church. Very powerful ministry. Pastor Imba, uh, we salute you, sir. Thank you for visiting us. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you lift your hands to Jesus Christ? You too, thank you for coming for Shigo Not. Some of you, it's a long time I saw your face. When you heard we are come to dance, you came to church. I'm teaching next week. Come. Amen. Next week, I'm starting a very powerful subject on the name of Jesus. How to use it effectively, how to access the name. Then July, we kick off with the vitals of the cross. Tell your neighbor, speak prophecies into your neighbor's life. Just bless whoever is standing by your side. Just bless them. Just bless them. Speak prophecies. Prophesy one to another. Prophesy. Bear you one another's burden. Fulfill the law of Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Bless them with the presence of God. And as we go, let the presence of God lead them. It's a powerful hymn we sing. But that hymn is not meant for funerals. It is meant for understanding the presence of God. Abide with me, fast falls the even time. Though the darkness on the earth deepens, God is with us, so he abides. I want you to sing that song with revelation. Don't sing it with pain or anything. Sing it with revelation, the presence of God. The darkness of sin, the darkness of ignorance, the darkness of confusion. Today in American Senate, they are arguing over whether women should allow men who say they want to be women to fight them in the same spot. And they are spending hours, taxpayers' money, arguing whether men who say they are trans women can come and box biological women and collect their awards. Darkness has, gross darkness the people. Isaiah 60 has, is happening. Darkness has started though, when we start arguing whether a man who has male genitals just says he feels he's a woman so we say you can use women washroom and that's an argument that intellectuals who have gone to Harvard and Oxford are spending hours to debate something is off and the darkness is coming fast yesterday one of my daughters sent me a picture of DW news that has captured that Fulanis are entering Ghana with stolen cattle, but they are actually jihadists. And it's a prophet. That prophecy you give last year, that some Fulanis have left, who are actually bombers. They are pretending to wrestle cattle into Ghana. Darkness is around. But yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff. to sing it as prophecy to yourself and your family and your ministry and your callings and whatever it is you are connected to that as you go home God should show his face Papa. 
For more of our messages, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at FSS Gatherings. I'll see the Lord laughing. Hallelujah. See the Lord. See the Lord. For more of our messages. For more of our messages, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at FSS Gatherings. I'll see the Lord laughing, hallelujah, see the Lord, see the Lord. For more of our messages, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at FSS Gatherings. I'll see the Lord laughing. Hallelujah, see the Lord, see the Lord. For more of our messages, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at FSS Gatherings. I'll see the Lord laughing. Hallelujah, see the Lord, see the Lord. For more, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at FSS Gatherings. I'll see the Lord laughing. Hallelujah. See the Lord. See the Lord. For more of our messages, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at FSS Gatherings. I'll see the Lord laughing. See the Lord, see the Lord. For more of our messages, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at FSS Gatherings. I'll see the Lord laughing. Hallelujah. See the Lord, see the Lord. For more of our messages, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at FSS Gatherings. I'll see the Lord laughing. Hallelujah. See the Lord. See the Lord. For more of our messages, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at FSS Gatherings. I'll see the Lord laughing. Hallelujah, see the Lord, see the Lord. For more of our messages, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at FSS Gatherings. I'll see. Souls, we can never live forever with you in life and death. and glory of God rest with you. Have the perfect week. In Jesus' name. Amen. Say after me, Lord Jesus, tonight I've realized the mystery of iniquity that is at work in the earth. I realize not submitting to you is allowing iniquity to work in me therefore tonight i repent i yield my member even as your instrument i accept you jesus as my lord and savior today i enter the family of god because of your sacrifice thank you for accepting me and cleansing all my sins and my unrighteousness. In Jesus' name, Amen.
Si 